Hey, how's it going everybody? Ted Purchase, Fold Lens Photography. And today I'm gonna to show you some of my favorite free programs that I found uh, over the years. And uh, these do a variety of uh, different things, but um, let's just go ahead and uh, jump into it. The first one, uh, GIMP. Some of you guys heard of that, it's pretty popular. It's freeware, it's basically like a free version of Photoshop or Affinity. Personally, I never really used it like that because I always had Photoshop or Affinity and I always liked them a little bit better. This seems like on my old computers it didn't run that good, but now it runs pretty good on my new one. So it's actually a pretty decent program. But one of the uh, really cool things about this is that there's also this open source filter package called gmic you download and install that after you install gimp and it gives you i can't remember i mean yeah 491 different filters um everything from weird you know deformations to uh all sorts of uh color changes and uh you know we go in here you could make it look like a uh, painting or a cartoon you see that's like a painting and they all have a bunch of sliders and you could i mean there's just a lot of cool fun stuff you could do i i haven't used this too much over the years but i got a few photos uh where i played around with it uh definitely a good program let's go ahead and uh go on to the next one okay guys this one's a uh, pretty basic kind of a no-brainer this is uh, Adobe's DNG converter. And uh, one thing I like about this is that I shoot with Olympus and right now, neither Olympus nor Windows has made a codec to where I can actually see my files in the Windows viewer, which is dumb because if you got like Nikon or Canon, you can see them and they work fine. So I usually don't do this, but um, maybe you'll like to if if you uh it, it's kind of nice if you want to convert your files into something that more programs can read like just the regular photo editor in windows you can't edit a raw olympus file but you could edit a raw nikon file or you can edit a dng so you can convert it and and that can be uh that can give you some compatibility with other programs but so it's just something uh, you may need, you may not need it, but it, it's a nice thing to check out if you're having any issues with uh, compatibility or being able to use or see your raw files. Okay guys, this program right here, this is called Fastone Image Viewer. This thing is sweet. Basically, if you ever heard of something like Photo Mechanic, um, there's a couple other programs that do that. They're basically just meant to sort your photos real quick these are raw olympus uh uh files and look at how quick i can go through and zoom in and check focus on this it, it's basically instantaneous to go through your files check for focus check your keepers and then all you got to do is hit q and that will mark it. Now, one thing that I learned is that you have to kind of take the mark ones, highlight them, copy and paste them somewhere else on a second file. That's that's how I cull through weddings really quick. Uh, fantastic program if you're doing high volume editing. If you got to go through a lot of pictures, this is great. Also, like I said, I can't see these files and what they look like because I use Olympus and some of the other brands aren't supported on Windows either. So this could be a solution just to be able to view your files without having to crack into an, an editor like Lightroom or anything like that. So if you have any issues seeing your files or if uh, you just want something where you can go through and instantaneously check focus to cull your files quickly, then this is a fantastic program. It has a bunch of these editing things which is kind of fun to play around with, but it's not serious stuff. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really, the only thing it's really good for is going through your, your files quickly 
and you know it's free so you don't have to spend 150 bucks on it like photo mechanic or anything like that so definitely something uh, you should check out okay guys this is uh obs so this is a little bit off topic but if you are ever looking at doing uh, video capture or you know recording your screen or anything like that this is a uh, really cool program you guys will like it it's uh, it, it, it basically will let you stream or capture what's on your screen or your microphone that's hooked up to your computer I use it to actually make my first couple of videos so I'm a little bit off topic but if you're looking for something like that this is free it's a great program to do that kind of stuff with if you're into macros, Combine ZP, something you're going to want to look at if you don't have some other program to stack your macros with. Now, um, there's a few uh, paid programs like, uh, I know it's, I think it's called like Helicon or something. And there's another one and I've heard they're a little bit better than this, but they also cost a lot of money. They're kind of spendy. This is free. You could also use Photoshop. But in my experience, Photoshop was actually really bad. I, I did a free trial of a couple of the paid ones and then this, and these all worked better than Photoshop. It, it just might be because Photoshop, it's kind of like an afterthought. It's not a big feature. Like this is what these programs are meant to do is stack and Photoshop's meant to do a million other things. Um, but this stuff, uh, it it's, uh, works pretty good. And uh, you usually have to, I think I had to turn it into JPEGs. I don't have any right now because I always delete my my slices after I merge them and do my macros. So sorry I had to kind of rush through this video. I'm actually studying for my drone exam. And uh, so I didn't have a lot of time to, you know, do things like take a bunch of macro pictures and, and load them in here. But uh, yeah, it, it, it works fantastic. So if you're looking to stack macros, and you know later on i'll do some videos on that there's a lot of cameras that can automatically uh, focus bracket and camera like my em1 mark ii it can take a whole bunch of pictures and move the focus a little bit or you could do it by hand and then you stack them together to make one picture where everything's in focus pretty cool piece of software so if you want to get into that kind of stuff definitely check it out okay guys this is a program that i use all the time this is called infuse GUI and what this is is this is an HDR program now one thing about this that um, doesn't work so good with and anytime there's movement wind or anything because this doesn't have any deghosting like some of the other programs do but for interiors it's fantastic one because it's ridiculously ridiculously fast at merging and the other is that they look way better than stuff like photomatics you know i don't know i mean some photomatics if you mess with it right and same with pretty much all the other big paid ones they they have the de-ghosting so i think they're a little bit better outdoors if you if you mess with them but interiors this just kills them it looks way cleaner when you compare the files side by side you can't even compare the two it's it's huge so i the highest quality HDR that you'll get is with this program in my opinion and I've played with all of them I've played with just you can think of any HDR program <laughs> and I've used it plus you can batch with it Let's just go ahead and drag these over here. Okay, they're loaded in Now you just set your bracket count and if I had I just have seven here, but if I had you know let's say 14 so two brackets or uh, two sets of brackets then it would automatically only merge the first seven and the second seven and you can do that as many times as you want but let's go ahead and just infuse it see how long this takes okay guys so that was seven brackets 37 seconds and you can see this this may not look like so much right now but once i put my preset after i throw this back and to capture one it will look a lot better let me go ahead and show you what that looks like real quick okay guys you can see i have it up here in capture one this is what it looks like before the preset this is what it looks like after the preset now 
still could use a little bit of work. What I usually do is just a little brush. Okay. And then I'm going to go over here and just crank up the saturation on that. Oh, that's right. Gradient, new layer. Something like that, and we will crank up the exposure a little bit. And cut back on the saturation up there. And that's pretty good right there. So, yeah, I didn't really mean to do a uh, quick tutorial on how to do a quick HDR, but we'll get more into that on another day but this is basically just a look into my workflow um, when I do HDR sometimes I, I like to do HDR and sometimes I like to use lights I, I like to try and find the best way to shoot but lately I've been getting put back into HDR I just I kinda like the look actually a little bit better and it's just really quick with the techniques that I've developed over the years. So a big key to being able to do it quick and get it looking nice is infuse GUI. When I do a house, this is going to be done infusing all my pictures while I do the exteriors. And then I could get on them. You see, it just it really takes a matter of a few seconds to go and do capture one, throw a couple brushes and a preset in there and boom. That's how I uh, knock out my houses really quick. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look onto the uh, final program. Okay, guys, and the very last one is uh, something I just kind of discovered messing around, and I never would have taken this seriously, but this is really crazy. The photo editor that's built in to Windows 10 is literally crazy let me pull this up real quick this right here this isn't a JPEG DNG TIFF this is a raw Nikon file now this will not work with Olympus and there's probably a few other brands that it won't work with maybe there's a codec to get in there but I can tell you it works with Nikon which means probably works with Canon and uh, yeah let's let's get into it for one it actually does a pretty good instant auto enhance that has a slider on it and when you go to the adjustments if you notice this it's instant the saturation not only is it instant but they the filters just look it, it just looks really amazing it's it's actually a very good editing program it kind of has smart sliders like you could tell it's not when you just exposure it's not really adjusting everything evenly because it's trying to uh, make it look good but look at how smooth this is running editing a raw program this is running just as good as Lightroom or as good as capture one it's it's running like butter and I've been looking I've actually been doing some research on a lot of programs um, raw therapy on one effects infraview uh, Photoshop Express Photoscape X paint.net I've been looking at all these free programs lately because I'm trying to find really the best free programs to show new people so they can edit raw photos and get really great looking photos without having to spend money because a lot of hobbyists don't want to spend 10 bucks a month or $300 for Capture One or Lightroom. And if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend any money, this is actually a really fantastic editing option. I mean, this it's pretty much instant, you know, with the sliders it's it's awesome it's, it's a great program <laughs> I don't know what else to say just uh, if you I, I've been using Windows 10 for years and I didn't even ever think to look at this until just the other day so I feel like a complete dummy but this is actually great and if you're 
a beginner, especially if you, uh, you know, if, if you're just a casual and, and you don't want to pay 10 bucks a month for, to, and you know, to edit your photos when you just go take photos, you know, a few times a year, then yeah, of course this will work fantastic for you. So be sure to, uh, yeah, don't be too skeptical of this. Actually go in there and look at it and give it a chance. It's a fantastic little photo editor. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, enable notification, and comment down below. If you'd like to support this channel so I can make future content, check out my website, boldlensphotography.com, where I sell fine art prints. You can also donate money at patreon.com forward slash boldlensphotography, and I'll have links below to all my social media accounts. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.